Another solution that has been on the market for a while is hair transplantation. We're actually seeing a lot of guys what, fly over to Turkey to get them done. I guess they do it cheaper. Why hair transplant recipients come to see us for scalp micropigmentation, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever it may be, as far as what we can do as scalp artists to enhance or fix you know, hair transplant uh, scarring and density and all that. I have a lot of clients that um have had these transplants done that obviously aren't happy with it. it why leaves, would that be? Why would that be? What do you say? Um, what, what ends up happening a lot is they don't get the density or the fullness to, to wear the look that they were used to having. And then it's kind of trapped them into a circumstance where now they have a scar that's underlying in the surrounding hair area, um, like in the area. donor area. Yeah. And now they're afraid to actually shave their head down because now it's going to reveal this scar or the mistake that they feel like that they made. Um, so I, I actually specialize in a lot of, you know, doing the scar work. We could do great camouflage in that area. It could, you know, if some of these guys want to hold on to some of the hair transplant that they've got, we do a really fantastic job of adding density to make it look like it's fuller and they've gotten more from a transplant than they actually did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, we could help yeah. out a lot in that. Scar camouflage is great for those that you know, either didn't yield a lot from the hair transplant or just tired of keeping longer hair and want to, the, at least the flexibility to cut down, but don't want to expose either the, the, the strip scar or the FUE, which is, you know, the newer type of transplant procedure that a lot of people are doing, especially overseas, um, which the scarring, the scarring is a little more minimal, but with the amount of grafts that are being taken, when you do cut down, it leaves the back very depleted. So right. we can cover those with pigment as well. So when they cut down, that back part of the head doesn't look eaten alive or have any, you know, massive scarring. But I know, Mike, you do a lot of fill-ins for hair transplant clients as well. Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, like Ken said, you know, most of uh, the, the clients who had a transplant are lacking in density. So we're just increasing density to make the transplant look better, obviously fill the scarring as well. Do they have to necessarily, you know, for the guys that maybe do still have a good amount of hair, whether it's natural, their natural hair or from the transplant, it depends what lengths they want to keep, but we can, we can fill that in. Right? Yeah, we can fill it in. If you leave it short, you leave it longer. You know, we just adjust the color a little bit. But yeah, you can fill it in. You can definitely fill it in.